build review. Leave your bits in the comments below. And I'll read submissions in the next episode of your tip. Welcome back everyone to a series where I try your build you submitted in the comments. You know the rules. And today, I brought you an Ash build submitted by Philociraptor. So I chose this not because it looked interesting. Well it is, but the reason was because it has Inodim as part of the build. I was just about to upgrade it after abandoning it for so long. Oh, brother. So I decided, why not? As for the submission goes, it's built with high strength, focus on finisher with mark for death subsume, rota for building combo, epitaph for priming, and Inodim for finisher, and a bit of wholesomeness. Thank you so much for Lost Raptor for the support. Now let's get to the arsenal. So here's the build. We have Steel Charge, Cunning Drift, Transcend Fortitude, Fatal Teleport, Stretch, Flitting Expertise, Blind Rage, Intensify, Prime Flow, and Streamline. For Arcanes, of course, we have Arcane Ultimatum and Arcane Triggery. As opposed to the comment, I am using Kuva Nukor instead of Epitaph. And the reason why, which I'll show you in a moment. Of course, we have Rauda for building melee combo. And in a dem with finisher build. Of course, we have a Nermon focus school. As for companion, I went with Death Cube with energy generator augment or energy orb generation since this build has any no way of energy sustain. And of course, I'll be testing this in conjunction survival on Steel Path. As I was testing out this build, I was dying a lot and noticed some flaws. Remember that I said I used Nucor instead of Epitaph? Well, let's start with Mark for Death interaction. After applying Mark on an enemy, there's an indicator on enemy that has been marked. Remember this detail. After a direct damage on an enemy, it will explode during portion of that damage on a nearby enemy. Remember that only direct damage and not damage over time. Well, in this clip, I shoot my epitaph before applying Mark for Death, and guess what? My Mark was gone. Well, it was the recent blast element changes that triggers Mark for Death after it had exploded. This was the reason that caused some of my death during the testing, due to Mark for Death already triggered by blast before I even get to do a finisher. And Mark for Death prevents me from stacking Galvanize mod, cause apparently it doesn't count towards you killing an enemy with weapon. Regardless of these interactions, I was still dying due to relying on arcane triggery for invisibility with 15% chance of procking. I've tried with Shade and Huras Kubro for invisibility, however the invisibility still breaks when you do a teleport on an enemy to finish her. And also, energy was still a problem even with Death Cube and its augment. So I did replace Arcane Ultimatum with Arcane Energize to help with energy sustain. The only success I had was spamming Blade Storm and had never used Mark for Death in this clip. But that trivializes the whole point of subsuming Mark for Death. So it's either that I don't know how to play this build or the build itself that contradicts each other. And trust me when I say this, I've really tried to make this work, but I just couldn't. So I'm not going to be writing this one because I can't firmly give an opinion on it if I can't get the build to work. And I do sincerely apologize for anyone expecting me to do a rating. And if you're watching this Velociraptor, please let me know what I'm missing and I'll definitely redo this build in the next video. And so that's it guys. If you enjoyed this type of content, either like or comment. This will help me push the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more of this, be sure to subscribe as I'm about to reach 500 subscribers. Thank you so much everyone for watching this and I hope you all have a nice day.